Well, I'm going to music special And can't you tell that I feel swell I'm gonna clap along and sing my favorite song And all the listen music special Hello everyone, welcome back. This is lesson number 19 of our music class this year. Today we're going to learn about the electric bass, we're going to play guess what instrument, we're going to clap together, and we're also going to write another very short song together. So, let's get started. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what instrument? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what instrument is making that sound? Guess what instrument on your screen is a banjo, a trumpet, and a djembe. Listen. That was a trumpet. On your screen is a sack butt. Yes, that is the real name of that instrument. A lute and a contrabassoon. Listen. That was a lute. On your screen is a xylophone, an English horn, and a piccolo. Listen. That was a piccolo. Okay, let's clap some rhythms together. Start with a quarter note, then a half note, and two eighth notes. Let's clap. One, two, ready, go. Good. Let's try one more. Let's start with, well, let's change it up. Let's not start with an eighth note or a quarter note again. Let, let us start rather with some eighth notes. Then a half note. And finally a quarter note to finish off the measure. By the way, you can tell that we are in 4-4 four, four time because there are four beats in this measure. Each of these is half a beat, so one beat is there. Here's two beats with the half note, so we're up to three beats. And then add one more beat for four. Okay, let's clap it. One, two, ready, go. The mistake I made the first time was that I did not hold my hands together for that half note when I clapped it. But I should have, because this is one note. Okay, good job. 
All right, let's write a song in 3-4 time today. Again, not a song, just a quick little musical phrase, really. I want to start on G and go down. So, that was in 3-4 time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So, I will start on G. That lasts for two beats. And then F, but it was just one beat. And here I must put in a measure break because we have three beats. We've reached three beats. One, two, three. Next was E and then D. Same pattern, E, half note. Again, I'm not drawing these exactly the way I should, but the way I must to have them fit on this whiteboard. So there's my E and then a D after that. Quarter note. There's three more beats there, so that's a measure. Let's play what we've got so far. We go G, F, E, D, G, F, E, D. And what do you think goes here? C. And I'm going to make that C last for three beats. So I draw a half note and I'll put a little dot beside it. I should have moved it a little bit farther that way probably, but that's all right. So that's three beats and I would put in another measure right there. So let's listen to our musical phrase here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good. Now if we were really writing a song, this is just the melody. The melody is like the music that you sing. Along with the melody would go chords. That gives the song its, its whole feeling, its whole spirit. So, with these two, I would put in a C major chord. And with these two, I would put in an A minor chord. I'm just going to write that A with a little M. And then with this C right here, I would put in an F major chord. And then because just having three measures doesn't really sound good to me to repeat it, I would put in another measure right here, but I would, whoops, I would just have another C. Let me erase that. make it a half note with a dot, but I'm going to change the chord. So it's the same note, it's a C in both cases, but instead of an F, I'm going to play an F minor with this one, and then I'll repeat. So first, let's listen to the whole melody of all four measures. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then I would repeat. Now let me put in the chords using my left hand. One, two, three, one, two, three. Tell me now what is 
Okay, the electric bass guitar. The electric bass guitar is the lowest instrument of the guitar family. Early versions of the electric bass first appeared in the 1930s. The instrument commonly has four strings, sometimes six, and is played by the fingers and thumb by plucking, slapping, picking, and rarely strumming. It is commonly used in many types of contemporary musical ensembles, including jazz, modern, and popular music. Okay, let's just discuss very shortly what this card is telling us. It's the lowest instrument of the guitar family, so this being a normal six-string electric guitar, the bass guitar sound is much, much lower than what you just heard there. The first versions of the electric bass came out in the 1930s. That's around the same time as the first electric guitars, if I remember correctly from that lesson a few weeks ago. The instrument most commonly has four strings. Every bass guitarist I know started on a four-string bass guitar. That's a normal bass guitar. But you can get bass guitars that have more strings than that. It's true. It's played by the fingers and thumb by plucking, slapping, picking, and rarely strumming. You don't see strumming too much on an, elect on an electric bass guitar, or any bass guitar really for that matter, because when you strum a guitar you make a chord. You make more than just one note sound at the same time. And it's hard for our ears to really hear chords when they're that low as they are played on the electric bass guitar. We also learned uh, what kinds of music we can hear the electric bass in, and it's very common across musical genres and in many different musical situations to see an electric bass guitar. Let's watch a great performance by Stuart Hamm on the electric bass guitar. you as always for coming and for participating. I appreciate your attention and I will see you next time. Well I'm going to music special and can't you tell that I feel swell. I'm gonna clap along and sing my favorite song and all the listen music special.